Okay, so here we're going to talk about defensemen creating offense from the offensive blue line when you don't have the puck, all right? So you don't have the puck yet, you're getting open or you're trying to get in a good position to get the puck and create offense. And what are some keys to think about? All right, so here's our two defensemen, all right? Now, one of the things to think about is when the puck's down in the corner here and there's battling, your forward and other team is battling for it, you don't want to be standing right along the boards here. See this happening all the time, because guess what? The puck goes up here, puck goes here to their forward coming out, and boom, they're gone, and you're standing there wondering what just happened, because you're right along the boards. You always want to stay a, at least two stick lengths off the wall. All right, at least two stick lengths off the wall. So you're right in this area right here, two stick lengths off the wall. Now, if your forward gets possession of the puck and turns up, boom, just move here quick, call for it, all right? Now you're open. So that's the number one key to think about is stay off the wall. Don't stand right against the wall, okay, defensively when you're in the offensive zone. <clears throat> Another option to think about here as a defenseman, all right, when <clears throat> you're standing here, get on the blue line, all right? You want your heels on the blue line when the puck's down low. You don't want to be standing, floating in this area right around here, and, and you see this all the time. You want to have your heels on the blue line. You want to have your knees bent. Be ready, all right? Be ready to support the puck over here. Be ready for, you know, a loose puck to come in. Be ready to back up and play a line rush, all right? always ready because when you're in this area right here guess what their forwards are right in here so what happens when you get the puck you have no time and you have no space but if you're on the blue line one you have a lot more space if you get a pass here to walk to the middle and shoot or get a good quality scoring opportunity two if you're on the blue line and their forward wants to come right up on you, you just opened up all this area right here. So now your forward, if he beats this defenseman out of the corner, all right, now he can take it in to the top of the circle here. Maybe he comes up around the top of the circle and this forward drops down on him. Well, now you can sneak back down low. And that's called the defenseman reverse here is when they're coming up around, your forward drops on them and you sneak behind and you have a little drop pass option right here and that's just a defenseman reverse right around the top of the circles okay where you can take it around so those are some options and why it's so important to stay on the blue line and use the ice all right what you don't want to see is you don't want to see defensemen floating in no man's land and then you have a high forward out here too so you're all standing next to each other all right get your heels on the blue line and you know create time and space for yourself another option here when you don't have the puck on your stick is when do you fill that slot all right, so defensively, all right, when do you fill this slot here when your team has possession? Now, typically, you don't want to see the strong side defenseman fill the slot. All right, so if the puck's down in this corner here, all right, this defenseman, you don't want to be coming down here and filling the slot. Like I said, your option is support the puck when they get full possession for a pass here. All right, if your forward comes out here, you can do a reverse, or you can even start to walk to the middle, and this defenseman can walk down. Now you have this pass. All right, so those are your different options. Now, if you want to fill the slot as a weak side defenseman, that's fine. So you have the puck here. You support it over here. You've moved from here, which is off the wall, over to there to support the puck defensively. Now you can, you can fill the this, this slot as a weak side defenseman. So, you know, coming in here, if you see a lane for a pass, that's, that's no problem. You can, you can fill that slot here. A lot of times, too, another good play is to come sneak, start sneaking in back door. So as players are, your players are attacking the net, you're now an option back door, and it's really hard for this forward to keep track of you because a lot of these forwards, high forwards, are looking down, all right? at the puck so the defensive the defensive high forward here is going to have trouble keeping track of you so you can sneak down one of the things is don't just come down and stay down here and screw around all right come down sneak down quick and then back out and time it properly all right focus on your timing don't worry about you know going back and forth all the time just wait for that opportunity that presents itself and then come down and slide down either back door or strong side slot and if it's open there and there's a passing lane there, great. Get the puck, shoot it quick, score a goal. Don't overhandle it, don't over stick handle it. All right, now, obviously as a defenseman here, you wanna make sure you're backing right out. If this defenseman ends up getting the puck, you wanna make yourself an option right in the middle of the rink for a DDD pass. If he starts walking to the middle, you wanna start walking to the outside, opening yourself up for that shot, and so you're always working together. So those are your options as a defenseman when you don't have the puck. It's very key, you're staying off the wall. If the puck's in this corner, you don't wanna be standing right on the wall, you wanna be off the wall. All right, so now, 
that centerman coming through, you're able to go back right with them and you're not going to get beat by that play up the middle if it goes boom, boom. All right, so you always want to stay off the wall first and foremost, be in a good defensive position first and foremost, and then from there, you can support here, all right? You're going to be able to create good opportunities for yourself and good offense for yourself if you're in a good defensive position first and foremost because that's your job.